<laughs> I let Chevy ride it back. I know y'all tired of looking at all the spaghetti, so I'm gonna go ahead and this is like a sneak peek of uh of the buy of the body control module. We're getting that hooked up. So this is a sneak peek of me. I wasn't even gonna go with this harness, but I didn't uh repin it and everything, so it's good to go. So now I'm about to go ahead and start wiring up this motor and uh probably not today but because i need to go over the body control module with y'all so i'm gonna take that time out to go over that with y'all and we'll all end on what i've done to get that uh to go all, you know work with the swap so let me get this in here and i cut y'all back on and the body control module will be in the house. All right. What's happening, y'all? What's happening, all my subscribers? We back with another one, and we back with uh, this body control module for the LM7 swap. So now, if you know, this is a three plug um, system. Um, body control module basically controls. Um, the 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 inside cabin a, a little bit of the exterior um like as far as the lights uh you might hit your signal switch or you know um it uh communicates with uh you know turning your heat on um moving your power seats just just basic stuff okay so a lot of these wires in here you will not be having to use a lot of these just just go to things that you're not going to be uh, having to use or, you know, it just, it's not even needed in this swap. So, uh, so the wires that I have taped up out the way, these are the wires that I'm going to deep pin, okay? So, the three wires in the blue plug, you see there, blue, you got purple and brown, all right? The three wires here which is one would be your serial data okay signal so this wire is getting wired and you see i've already because i've had it outside um this wire is going to the com the engine computer okay so this wire communicates with basically all right, basically saying uh, same VIN number here and same VIN number uh, to the computer, to the engine, and it's giving it all the okay. All right, so um, let's get that out the way. The orange and black wire coming from the blue plug. Let's get some focus. Let's get some focus. All right. So you see the orange, you see the black in there. This is your sensor return pass lock, okay? So this is basically, this is your VATS, all right? So this is what you would be, um, um, it's on the tip of my tongue, guys, I'm so sorry. Uh, you would be, I'll show you guys in a minute, okay? So this wire too, is along is this is the same so you will be connecting these two wires together okay to uh be able to bypass all right but not just hooking these wires up you have to put a resistor with it all right so and the resistor has to be the same as the key um or or close it doesn't have to be exactly the same it just has to be it has to be close all right so close would be 1300 to 2000 ohms okay so green wire i don't have labeled this is also a serial data um yeah this is a serial data so i have not uh uh, check my pins for the OBD2, but I'm I'm 100% sure that this is going to be the OBD2 
uh, connect. So I'm not gonna worry about that. And again, like I said, this is the brown connector. So these are the wires that you won't be needing. This is that green wire. Um, so again, all right, so you get a look at those wires. It's only two yellow wires and one orange and black wire for the blue, all right? So now you come over to here and this is basically your power, all right? So this is supplying power and you have another data serial, uh, serial data signal here, all right? So, but that's not going to anything. It's not, um, I've already looked up the pins on that. I'll relook and make sure he doesn't go to the computer, but, um, it's basically, this is all power and ground. This is your reference, uh, voltage feed, 12 volt. Again, the black, that's your ground. The pink, ignition. Uh, it's got it all kind of tangled. No, I just want to make sure I got all the wires for you guys. Yeah, so basically this is just your power. And you see, here they're all just, you know, over here. All right, and everything else is garbage. So this is to power the box. This is to communicate with the engine's computer. And uh, yeah, so one more thing. Let me show you guys uh, how I broken down this to be able to understand. All right, y'all. So this is how I was able to understand the, um, the you know, the plugs. Okay, so... Um, this is my wife's phone. So, uh, as you can see, this would be the, the blue plug. Okay. And it says gray here, but you don't have to worry about that. I had to search this in another year to be able to find the plug because this plug, you, I, I was not able to find it. Um, the, the schematics of the plug. So this was my way of finding the schematics, searching a different year, okay? So the yellow plug, pin A1, yellow, circuit number. That too helps you out a lot too, the circuit, because you, 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 you find the trace of where this wire runs to or leads to. So always jot down circuit numbers and keep that information because it's very important. Okay, serial data signal. All right, so let's go back here. That's this wire here. All right, so uh, along with the VATS is here. Pass lock, re uh, sensor return pass lock. And it also has the circuit number, so you're able to locate that. All right, so again, you guys, uh, all this is, is vital. And as you can see, the rest of the wires are really things that you don't need, all right? So just to use this as an example, this is this may not be the exact plug that I used. Oh, I'm not the plug, sorry guys. Uh, the exact, uh, this might not be the sheet. It might be the next one or something like that. I'm just using this as reference of what I went to to find my, sig my serial uh, data signal. All right, so then I went to the engine's computer and I, f and I was trying to locate uh, circuit numbers 710, okay? So I would take that, go in here, search, 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 and I found it, okay? So from that, I knew how to wire up this to the computer all right so other than that you guys um it's fairly simple it's, it's easy um once you have this it's hooking it up as long as this match long as this matches with your engine's computer this has to be the same serial data it has to be the same it has to be all that all right um you can't just go to the junkyard and take one of these boxes out and then just apply it and then it works. It's not gonna work because it's it, it would it it would trip an anti theft because 
it doesn't match with the actual engine computer. The serials are two different serial numbers. So that's what I had to do. Um, get me a totally different new computer to be able to, well, I had to get the mate to be able to run my engine, um, basically. So um, I'm still in the process of getting everything wired up. I have it majority, the engine's basically almost ready. Um, other than that, I just have to run me some longer wires and get this in with the computer. Um, and this is also a good plus because I can just remove this box and the engine still won't start. So this is a, a good plus for me. It's it's all simple, you know. It's 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 factory, you know. It's it's all simple. Um, so another thing is that know your resistors for your engine to start. So you have two these two wires right here. Uh, these two wires are going to uh, start it, but you have to have the proper resistor for it to be able to start. Give the give the engine the okay to start. Okay. Um, so, all right, guys. I hope this video helps you guys. If it helps, um, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, I'll see you guys soon.